Hi there guys, old man Chris back again, short uh, spell in the shop just to cover one fairly small simple subject which is uh, case hardening and uh, this is a sort of quick fix, fairly simple method to achieve a usable result. Um, we're using some case knit which is a I forget the ingredients. Uh, oh, what is it? Uh, carbon, bone meal, other bits of organic stuff. Source of carbon, anyway. So anyway, what we did, uh, just turned down a bit of scrap, put a 60 degree taper on it, so we could harden that in case perhaps we want it for a... Um, dead center, any old thing, just for a demo. Uh, I used propane to get uh, up to temperature, that was slow. Uh, the oxy flame would have been better. But I'm just sort of, in essence, just showing how to go about it the simple way. There are methods, if you look it up, there are methods uh, for uh, case hardening gear teeth where the whole process is much more drawn out, done for a lot longer, greater penetration. All we've got here is perhaps, I don't know, maybe a thou or less of a skin and the underneath material is still soft. We're talking about doing this on a low carbon steel normally. Um, and that's about it. So it's just to give you an idea <clears throat> of how I, get, how I go about it. I did some time ago for my, uh, what was it, on the uh, knurling device that I made and I, I made shoulder bolts and put some case hardening on the uh, shoulder for the wheels to run on to improve the wearability. Um, I suppose over the years I've only used it now and again but it is, it, it's very useful. Many of you have probably used it anyway, but uh, I'm throwing it in just for a bit of interest, <laughs> alright? So here we go, just a quick uh, review of what we did, alright? Hope to see you again sometime soon. Bye. Piece of scrap, mystery material. It's fairly tough stuff, I don't know what it is. I've just turned down for concentricity externally, putting a 60 degree point on it, which I'll use to uh, try and case harden. almost close enough. I'll just get a little bit more point because I might be using this for uh, positioning things. Alright, I've given this a bit of a polish. Could do with a bit more but uh, I think that'll do for now. So I'm going to try and just give this end a little bit of treatment. Right, here's something that I case hardened a long time ago. It's actually for a swaging pipe. Uh, I've got two steps on it. You might be able to see that it's got a double a taper and taper. Now this end, the end that you hit, can you see? If I'm in close enough. Let me come in a bit. Right, that should be a bit more visible. Right. Now the business end. Hmm. 
nothing. It's almost glass hard. Now bear in mind case hardening is very a very thin layer. So it depends on what it's going to be used for now. This is uh, case knit. Many people may have come across it. I think it's a mixture of bone meal, bone meal, graphite, and goodness knows what. But it's really it's it's, it's a high carbon mix. So let's try and heat this up. I'm too lazy to get the oxyacetylene out, so I'm going to see if I can get enough heat with the uh, propane torch. So I'll make it, this incidentally is ceramic, ceramic uh, sheath. I'll come back when we're getting somewhere. Right, I can't, uh, what I'm do, doing here is plunging it into the uh, powder. I should have used the oxy because it would be better reaching a slightly higher temperature. That was more or less cherry red which uh, should, su should suffice, we'll see what we get out of it. You see it's all nicely crusted on there, so I'm going to leave that for a little bit. Just give it a little bit, then I'm going to knock that off and quench it. Right, <clears throat> knocked the uh, residue off, quenched it, and at this stage it looks quite a mess. So we've got to get the wire brush on that, get it cleaned up a bit. Right, <clears throat> that's a bit of a clean up. Could do with a bit more. Usually finish up with a little bit of mottling, but uh, this is the untreated area. Files working on that. I was wondering whether you could hear the sound difference. Just about make a very slight mark, but I mean it's not actually cutting. And then back here. You see it going bright. So there you are, that's all there is to it. Um, I think, I say from choice, if I'd had the oxy flame, I'd have gone beyond cherry red, gone towards orange, actually. Uh, but we've got a bit of treatment there, and that is going to resist wear considerably. If that was in the tailstock, acting as a, a dead center, we could uh, run that pretty well. I didn't polish it up fully. It takes a while to get it, or uh, well, before treatment, it gets a while to get to a really good mirror finish, which is even better. But anyway, that's a very durable tip to that. I forget the thickness without looking it up. 
I think you get half a thou or a thou, but anyway, that's that's got a lot of carbon in it, just on the uh, skin.